Hey. Officer, I have a restraining order against that man right there. You stay away from me. Jack, leave them alone. Come on, girls. Get back over here. Hey, don't you walk away from me. Get over here. Get over here. Get back here, girls. Come on, okay? Get back here now, okay? You get in the room, okay? Jack, you need to leave them alone. Leave them alone? Why would I leave them alone? Those are my girls. You're scaring them. Scare? Am I scaring you girls, huh? Am I scaring you? Jack, you need to sit you get in your rooms, okay? But you turned your back on me. to tell the whole truth, so help you God? Yes, I do. Mr. Locke, where were you on December 5th? I was with my father at a charity event. And would you mind telling the court who your father is? Why, I don't see... My father is Governor Barry Locke. did you guys get home? It was, uh, it was around 11 p.m. And you have evidence to corroborate that? A security camera saw my father and I leave the event. Uh, that evidence has been submitted. Yes, it has, but that security camera has you leaving at a 
we went and had dinner on the way back from the event. He's corroborated my story. Yes, why don't you just tell me what happened when you got home? I, uh... I heard yelling coming from the house. And I went in through the garage and saw a man at the top of the stairs with my wife. He was wearing a, a, a mask and holding a knife. They struggled and uh, when I cried out, when I cried out, he pushed her and she fell down the steps. I ran over and I and I and I tried to save her, but it was too late. She 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 hit her head on the floor. I I didn't know what to do. Um, no, you didn't know what to do. You didn't know to to call the police. You didn't do that for another forty-five minutes. I went after the intruder. Did you? Yes. Mr. Locke, there's no evidence of an intruder. There's no sign of force entry. There's no footprints around the house except yours. And there's no fingerprints inside the house. There's really nothing except your bloody fingerprints from when you moved the body. He exists. An intruder pushed my wife down the steps and I watched her die. D.A. Winters? No more questions, Your Honor. Prosecution calls um, Roberta Flores, Mr. Locke's uh, maid. I would never hurt my wife. You've got the wrong guy. Mr. Locke, please step down. My name is Roberta Flores. I was uh, Mr. and Miss Locke's maid for five years. And did you live with Mr. Locke? I lived in the guest house. I would also help with the children. And were you home on December the 5th? Yes, I was there. You keep looking at the defendant, Miss Flores. Does he scare you? No, ma'am. I wasn't looking at Mr. Locke. Hi, princess. Continue, D.A. Winters. Yes. Um, sorry, just... Um, D.A. Winters. Yes, um, Nita. Second. Miss Flores, I'm... I'm sorry, I need to interrupt. Would jurors 5, 7, and 11 please stand? I have here an affidavit from your lawyers stating that you were contacted outside this room by a representative of the district attorney's office. What? What's going on? Quiet. The letter also states that you were pre-selected for this jury in an effort by the DA to secure a verdict of guilty of murder in the first degree against the defendant. Your Honor, we did nothing of the sort. This is the first that we've heard of this. I have a sworn affidavit from the jurors. You did this! DA Winters, that is You wrong. did this! You paid them off! Winters. You're not gonna get away with this. I know you killed your wife. I'm gonna make you pay. You are just like my father. DA Winters, that is enough. I declare this a mistrial. Court is adjourned.
governor has gone on record stating that Mr. Locke's innocence will be substantiated. Once again, shocking turn of events as three jurors have come forward with a signed affidavit saying that prosecutor Yasmeen Winters stacked the jury. Would you turn that off, please? The governor's office has started an independent investigation. This you can't beat yourself up over this. What did the doctor say? Fine. Look. Panic attack, I hyperventilated. I've almost finished filing the new case, and the petition should keep the kids in protective custody. Winters and I have a meeting with Locke's lawyers this afternoon, and I'm Winters. gonna need to borrow a couple of people from research, maybe Sue, Winters. Rachel, and... You're taking a leave. <sighs> what? Look, it's already been approved, <sighs> and it's not negotiable. Go visit your sister. What? Now? Really? I should have seen the signs earlier. My dad practically killed my mother. They said it was a suicide, but I know better. It was a mistake. I made a mistake, and it's not going to happen again. Yasmin, did you talk to the jurors? How could you ask me that? I have to. No, I didn't. The only thing his little jury stunt did was buy you more time to build a case against him. Hmm? Now go home and don't tell anyone where you're going. Find some time for yourself and Paige. Come back and win this case. Copies of the proceedings. Okay. Let's see. Yasmin. Hey! I know it's last minute, but um, I was thinking about coming to visit you. It'll be like we were kids again. Two winter sisters getting in trouble. Oh, and Paige? Of course, Paige. But I, I, I have to warn you that this isn't exactly the big city. I don't have Wi-Fi. How rustic. It's okay, my phone has a data plan. Well, I'll get everything ready. Thanks, sis. Okay. Can't wait. I'll see you soon. Okay. I'm excited. Okay, bye. Exactly. You're going to do your courses online. It's all worked out with the principal. Well, how long are we going for? Two weeks. Seriously? Homework on a vacation? Oh, Paige, you're going to have fun, too. And I uh, packed all your stuff. Wait, did you bring my boots? No, you don't need your boots. No, I want my boots. Come on, let's go home. We're not going home for your boots, Paige. Well, come on. It's just around the corner. Please. No. Mom? Mm-hmm. I love you. Oh, that's very nice, Paige. I love you, too. So, can we get my boots? No. We're getting my boots, right? No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Oh, I had something. Be careful. Okay, fine. Only boots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. 
Oh, it's so big. Oh. She looks just like mom, doesn't she, sis? Maybe a little around the eyes, yeah. More than the eyes. Well, yeah, let me help you with your luggage. Oh, this is it. Well, you two traveled light. Mom's stricter than an airline. Only one carry-on allowed. And my boots. Well, when Laura and I were young, Mom always made sure that we were packed and ready to go. Why? Uh, well, I made cookies. You already said that. Uh-huh. Chocolate chip. Oh. Peter! Peter! Come here! Come over here! Come here! Hi! Hey, hey, Laura. This is Peter. He's my very attractive single neighbor. Oh, he's attractive, all right. Paige. Peter, this is my sister, Yasmin. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter, Paige. Hi, Paige. The district attorney. I read about you and heard many good things from Laura. <laughs> lies. All lies. Well, maybe one or two lies. How about a chocolate chip cookie? Your favorite. I can't. Um, I'm off to the office. It's nice to finally meet you, Yasmin. Nice to meet you too, Peter. Good day. Uh... What? You like him? <sighs> Not in the way that you think. <laughs> I think she's right. <laughs> His wife passed two years ago. He's ready to move on. I came here to clear my head and to work, not to date. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. <laughs> Look at you. Hi. Oh, my gosh. You fixed it. I found it in the basement after Dad moved away. You should have kept it buried. Yes. Mom, you look so young. <laughs> it was her eighth birthday. I do look like your mom. Agreeing with Aunt Laura is not going to win you any points. Yes, it does. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> and it'll also win you going to pick vegetables out of a vegetable garden and maybe making some clothes. Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, let's go and pack. I got work to do. You're on vacation. Only in spirit. Does she really bring work? Timothy Locke, she's obsessed. They were inside of my Let car. Go of me. <laughs> Yasmin, you get over here. I saw the news reports. Looks like a very tough case. Did he really kill his wife? Yes. Yes, he did. The worst part is that he has these two kids. And if I don't get him behind bars, then he's going to get custody of them. And I can't have that. I can't. Still fighting the good fight? Yeah, well, you too. That's fair trade. Oh. Mom, mm. I don't have any bars. Uh, turn on your roaming. I bought it out of plan. I'm going to go get dinner from the garden. Paige, want to help? Ah, oh, two bars. I think you've got it. It's gonna be squash spaghetti. I'm talking to a couple of tech junkies. Is that a phone? I think so. Well, aren't you gonna answer it? We'll let it go to voicemail. That thing has voicemail. Hello, Winters residence. Yasmin speaking. Hello? Hello, I think this thing is broken. Hello? Yasmin. Yeah, it's your dad. Yasmin, please. Talk Mom. Mom? Hey, Laura, come quick! Yasmin. Mom. Wait, I just want to talk. It's me, Dad. Yasmin, are you there? You can't ignore me forever. Tell Laura I called.
Not, not so fast. Here. Let's follow my finger. I'm and... fine. I'm okay. Thank you. Mom, you answered the phone and then just collapsed. I'm sorry if I scared you, sweetie. You scared me? You terrified me. I'm sorry. It was him on the phone. Why is he calling here? I wanted to tell you. Tell me what? You need to rest seriously. Doctor's orders. Doctor who? You're a doctor. Yes, that's what my business card reads as, Dr. Peter Sorensen. Thank you very much. But I, um, I need a couple moments with my sister. Thank you. Okay. Hey, Paige, um, why don't we go make some hot chocolate in the kitchen? Are you sure you're okay? Yes, sweetie, I'm totally fine. You talked to her father? The man that killed our mom. He didn't kill her. Maybe not directly. He deserves another chance. He doesn't deserve another chance, Laura. Are you out of your mind? He called me six months ago and he wanted to talk. What should I have done? You have hung up. He's changed, yes, man. People like that don't change. He asked about you. I don't believe this. I don't believe you. I should never have come back. I can't believe this. I saw what he did to you. Yes. And I forgive well, him. Well, I don't. We're leaving. Now. Yes, Listen to me. Don't, don't you feel the hate you carry inside? But coming here is the universe telling you to let go. The thing that happened in the courtroom. Yes. Surely you see this. It's the universe telling me that my sister is off her rocker. For Paige's sake, you need to face your past. But to stay a couple of days, but we can talk this There's through. There's nothing to talk through. There is. When you left, I stayed in this house. Mom's house. Our home. Alone. Just me. And a whole lot of anger. I had to change in here to find peace. I had to forgive him. I had to forgive Mom. And I did. It's never too late. You owe it to yourself to at least try. I'm sorry, Esmond. I didn't mean for you to fight. It's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, I don't think you should be walking. Uh, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. Mom, Peter's a psychiatrist. A shrink. Peter Sorensen, doctor of psychiatric medicine at your service. He helped me. He can... Can help you. No, no, no. I'm not here to sell my professional services. I, I just want to make sure you're safe. That's all. Thank you. I should get going. Um. See you guys later. Good night. night. He helped me, and he can help you, Laura. You're being pushy, husband. Normal, okay? PTSD and anxiety are real. It took me almost two years to let go of my pain. It's liberating. Sure, you're feeling okay? Yes, I am. I'm much better. Look, Paige, I just um I haven't heard my father's voice in so long, and it surprised me. Mom, you know, voice shouldn't make you want to faint. I know it shouldn't, but I'm fine. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Maybe Aunt Laura's right. Maybe you do have post-traumatic stress disorder. Will you stop listening to your Aunt Laura? She's not hey, always right. Cooper, I'm leaving at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and I'd like you both to come along. I want to show you around. Okay, for a couple hours, but Perfect. I just have to see you bright and early. 
I guess I better get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good night. Good night, Mom. Child Services has just denied Timothy Locke custody of his two young children pending further review. Uh, Mr. Locke, were you surprised that you didn't get custody? Mr. Locke. I will get my children back and prove my innocence. No matter what DA Winters thinks she has on me because it's false. I did not kill my wife. She should focus on who actually did. No one will stop me from getting my kids back. Chilling words from a man innocent until proven guilty. This is Carl Summers, KPQ News, Seattle. Hey, it's Yasmin. Did you see the lock interview? Pretty sure that constitutes a threat. Technically, no. But we did receive death threats at the office this morning. The local police are checking it out. How's Miss Flores? She's scared. I received a call from the governor. He wants to review the case personally. I have to give him Ms. Flores' testimony. That is not a good idea. You're revealing our smoking gun. You have to stall him. You're putting her life in danger. If I don't, he'll pull the plug. Jasmine? Brown, I'm so sorry. I have to go. I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Are you not ready to go? I'll be five minutes. Hey! When did you start eating vegetables? Hmm, the ones that Aunt Laura grows just taste better. Hmm. Okay, five minutes. Hurry up. The building was recently expanded into classrooms for a myriad of reasons. School? <laughs> well, sort of, but mostly to teach basic life skills to people who didn't graduate high school. We host agricultural events, anything to help the community. As a social worker, I have three goals, education, independence and employment. <laughs> I'm very happy when one of my clients no longer needs my assistance. Um, Paige, honey, uh, do you mind giving us a second? Some of my cases have private matters that I need your mom's help with. Uh, yeah. Okay. What? Come with me. Carla, this is my sister, Jasmine. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hello. Carla uh, has a few issues that I thought you could help us with. Six months ago, Carla was arrested in connection with an armed robbery that her boyfriend, James, committed at a liquor store. A man was shot by James. Carla was in the car, thinking James was inside, buying a six-pack. Accessory after the fact? I didn't know. Uh, he drove away, and then when the cops showed up at our apartment, he forced me to lie about his location. <sighs> Carla... He hurt me. I didn't know what to do. Don't come out, Yaz, until I say. Promise me. Accident. She's a little kid. Accident's perfect. Listen, I don't care. Do you know how much this shirt was? Don't you touch me. Yeah! Daddy, stop! Did you just tell me to stop? You think you can tell me what to do just like your mother? Where's Yas, huh? Because she is going to clean up this stain. Where is she? Please, leave her alone. Jasmine? <clears throat> yeah. Uh, are you okay? Um, mm -hmm. The public defender can help you with this. I have one. He's no good. Carla, I'm the one that puts you in jail, not the one that keeps you out. Yes, ma'am. She's innocent. And if, if I thought any differently, I wouldn't have brought her to you. She's a good person. The public defender messed up pretty bad. She's going to serve time. I'm sorry. I can't get involved in this. Yeah, I think she would help. I can't, Carla. You know, I have been trying, like, really, really hard to get my life back together, but all the state wants to do is just shove me inside a jail cell. You said that she understand that she's seen abuse, but maybe, maybe she's forgot what it feels like to be hurt. I can't believe you ambushed me like that, Laura. I mean, you always do this to me. You always force me into these situations. Oh, hey, maybe I led you into helping Carla, but she needs a good lawyer, and you're the best. Please. She's a good person who was abused. She doesn't deserve this. 
Fine. I'll look it over. But don't ever do this to me again. I'm sorry. I, I crossed a line. Yes. You did. Then you'll get a coffee. Hi. Uh, the usual to go. Well, I see you found the best coffee shop in town. Yeah, it wasn't a coffee shop when I lived here, but, um, it's good. Um, uh, may I? Please. You should try the pie. They make it fresh every day. No, I'm not a pie person. My mom made it all the time growing up. My favorite's cherry, but she always made apple, because... Well, it's complicated. Complicated's okay. You're good. What? I already want to tell you my life story, and I've met you, what, twice? You're just really... Yes? Comfortable. Thank you. Are you in a hurry? Yeah, I had a patient of mine go off their medication. I'm heading to the state ward to pay him a visit. Better get going, then. I'd rather stay here. Well, that would be nice. Will you go to dinner with me tonight? Uh, there's not a lot of restaurants in town, but if you like sushi... Uh... Sushi? Sushi's my favorite. I can't believe they have a sushi place here. That's great. So it's a date. Yes. I'll pick you up at 7. Okay, you're okay. Hey, hey, breathe deep, deep and slowly. There you go. There you go. Breathe deep and slowly. You're okay. I thought I saw. Who? My father. Oh. Uh, panic attacks. You're having acute panic attacks, usually brought on by stress or traumatic events. Oh, my God, your pants. It's fine. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I can get you another it, it's pair. It's okay. I've got to go to work. I'm late. I'm really so sorry. Yasmin. It's okay. Um, we're still on for tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Great. Great. It's about believing in ourselves and our abilities. Hmm? <laughs> and my sister, folks, yes. I need to talk to you. Now? I saw him. Who? Jack. Let's take a ten minute break. <clears throat> Dad retired to uh, Texas. Well, if he drives a Wagoneer, he is here right now. I'm pretty sure I saw him. Pretty sure? Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't get a great look, but it was him. Did he uh, look like he was 20 years older? Or did he look like how you remember him? I don't know. Look like how I remember him. Yeah, you're, you're projecting, yes. You're projecting? It's common. I went through it. When did you first see Dad? Um, in the courtroom. He was in the place of Timothy. Your mind is trying to process repressed traumatic memories. It, it's normally at the root of PTSD. Maybe your case with Timothy triggered it. 
learned a lot about this. Oh, from Peter? Yes. Mm. He's good. And he helped. You're not crazy. Millions suffer from this. There are ways to deal with this. Like a straitjacket? Like confronting your past. Laura. No. The past is just that. It's the past, and that's where it stays. Thank you. Yes, I understand. What's going on? I ought to take you out and bury you myself for bringing all this on to our family. You are pathetic. I put things into motion. Besides the maid, is there any other evidence that could uh, point this murder? I, 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 what? I don't know, okay? I, I, I don't remember. There's too much going on right now. Figure it out, unless you want to rot in prison for the rest of your life. You figure it out, and then we'll clean this up. God, you always were a disappointment to me. The only reason I'm doing this is for mother and, and, and the grandkids. Did you talk to social services about my kids? We're dealing with them, but they're not budging. So, you figure out who or or what else could possibly implicate you in this murder. Could you do that? She's not ready yet. She had a hard day. I know. Um, well, maybe these will cheer her up. Mm, no. But it's still a nice touch. <laughs> hey. You look nice. Here, for you. Thank you. I can't remember the last time someone brought me flowers. Oh, come on. That can't be true. Actually, it is. Mom doesn't go out much. Go put these in some water. Okay. We should go. Yeah? Yeah. Great. Okay. okay. <laughs> Have a good time. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you typically have a hard time with liquids? I don't know, is that a symptom? <laughs> of? Of I don't know, Peter. I don't know whether this is a dinner or an attempt at a diagnosis set up by my sister. <laughs> Simply a dinner of my own accord. I'm on to you. <gasps> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> um, how's your patient? Mine's a complicated puzzle. I give her medications to regulate imbalances. And when I think I get it just right, the mind tricks her into believing she no longer needs the treatment. Mm. It's a cycle. That I'm sure you find dull compared to the bright lights of a big city district attorney. I have my days. You know, Laura talks about you all the time. She probably tells you more than she should. You left here when you were 17. You put yourself through college and then law school. A single mother. You're a fighter. I work hard to get what I want. You always get what you want. I think the trick is wanting what you're just about to get.
after they found the cancer. I'm so sorry. That must have been horrible to go through. Yeah, I, I felt helpless. I, I wasn't able to save them. It was, I was devastated. It took me a long time to heal. I miss her. But, you know, um, love is a funny thing. You never know where you're going to find it. <laughs> Paige is fantastic. You are very lucky. Yes, I am. She never complains about anything. She's like you. <laughs> no, no. She um, acts like me, but she's a lot more like Laura. Which I'm happy about, because when she's like me, we fight. <laughs> Carla! Hey. What are you doing here? You're out on bail. Hey, easy, easy. This doesn't include what you. What are you doing? This kind of behavior isn't going to get your daughter back, and it's not going to keep you out of prison. What's the point? I may as well have a little fun before I get locked up. Listen, if you want me to help you, you have to stay sober. Because I've looked at your case, and I think I can help you. Really? You're going to help me? Yes. But you do what I say, or I walk. Okay. Okay. Rule number one, get sober and stay that way. Thank you. Hey, go home, and I'll call you in the morning. Okay, party's over. Step off, guys. Time to step off. See ya. What a joke. Wow. Good job. Thanks. You want me to get a cup of coffee? Yeah. 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 Did you see how I yeah. sort of just got in between there? You did. You're like you're like a superhero, you know? Sort of. <laughs> Aunt Laura, was my grandfather really a monster? No. But for a time, he was very abusive. He had a temper, and he was an alcoholic. Did he kill my grandmother? Not directly. She slipped down the stairs and broke her back. They had her on pain pills. The coroner said it was an accidental death, but yes, and I knew. It was her um, way out. But she left you and mom with him. It's pretty brutal. <laughs> it wasn't for very long. After the funeral, dad pretty much abandoned us, so we learned to sew up old jeans, grow a decent carrot, and make do with very little. We were quite the team until your mom left for college. How can you still talk to him? He knows what he did was wrong. He asks about you. Mom wouldn't want to hear that. He'd like to meet you. Mom would freak. Your mom has to let go of her pain. You shouldn't inherit that. She'll never change. Oh, she will. We just have to nudge her a little bit. Hmm? They're back. Mm -hmm. That was an eventful evening. It was. But, you know, despite all the drama, I had a really good time. Yeah, me too. I really want to do this again. 
So do I. Hey! So, how was it? Great, Paige. I'll see you later. Yeah, good night. Mm. I'll see you later. Bye. So, did you kiss him? Stop it. What? Hello? Someone hit the safe house last night. Miss Flores? Dead. Well, get a warrant. Let's put Lockie behind bars now. Timothy was at the family cabin on Vancouver Island. There's nothing that connects him directly to the hit. Oh, come on. You know he did it. Of course he did it. I I'm, I'm coming back. No, stay there. It's safer. Until I get a handle on what's going on. I'll call you later. I'm so excited. This isn't gonna be easy. Your drug test isn't a pass. Maybe it's a mistake, you know, sometimes sometimes they make mistakes. There are so. several positives. Okay, I didn't do anything since you took my case, I promise. I believe you. But in order for a jury to see you as innocent, you need to be a beacon of light. They need to see you as the victim. The hospital. What about it? There are records of the abuse at the hospital. A uh, fractured skull, broken arm. Carla, hips. why didn't you tell me about this? Because nobody else knows. Even the hospital thinks I'm clumsy. Okay, if I'm gonna do this, you have to stop the lies, okay? Because you are throwing away any chance of being free and any chance of ever having your I daughter again. I'm sorry, again. I'm sorry, and I'm trying. Try harder! You need to dump your friends, quit the drugs, and grow up. Because this case against you is real. This prison time thing is real. You're gonna do real time. Yasmin, that's enough. She needs to know the truth. What she needs is support. You asked me to do this. Well, this is how I'm doing it. Can I speak to you in the hallway, please? for one second that maybe she shouldn't be a mother? Maybe she was right. Maybe you've forgotten what, it, what it's like to be scared of your life, the hurt, and what we did to cover it up. Laura, that doesn't matter. Child services isn't gonna see it that way. But they should! Her daughter is the only person that she lives for. It's the one thing that keeps her going. Well, this is on you. Because I don't belong here, okay? I'm used to being on the other side. I'm used to putting people like her in jail. You're right. I shouldn't have asked you. I shouldn't have forced you into this. You're right. I'm sorry. I just, uh, I needed to tell Natalie that. I'm sorry. You know, you weren't always so strong. Don't forget who helped you. Can I grab a coffee, please? Joan. Child Protective Services is going to release the kids to Timothy on Friday. Well, he's still on the hook for murder. And it sounds like he's still killing. When's the next hearing date? Four weeks. Okay, I want you, you to call Judge Roberts and get him to fit us in this week. He owes us one. Without the maid, we have no case. Well, the forensics points to murder. We'll just stand on that. We both know that's not strong enough. Look, if I don't give the defense something substantial, they're going to motion that we drop the case. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. We're going to work on this together. Uh, no, stay there. That's an order. Yes. We think whoever killed Miss Flores might be looking for you. What would make you think that? We got a call from your landlord. She's been looking for you. Well, the service here is crap, Joan. What's going on? Someone broke into your home. Paige, can I see you for a moment out back? Uh, yeah, sure. Paige. 
Paige, this is your grandfather, Jack Winters. You look just like your mother. Paige, he just wants to say hi. I, I just wanted to meet you. I've heard so much about you from Laura. Please, come on over here. It's okay. What, what are you afraid of? Dad. Just like Yasmin. Dad. I'll call you. Yeah. Yeah, just like old times. Why was he here? I thought you said he was in Texas. God, gonna freak if she finds out. I mean, there's a restraining order, Paige. and we can't say anything, okay, because I'm only 15. Paige. He just wanted to see his granddaughter. Tell him I'm sorry I ran. I will. And do they take anything else? That's it? The locks have been changed. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Thanks. Is everything okay? Well, my key witness is dead and someone broke into my house. Pissed off the wrong guy. No, he's the right guy. He's just not going down without a fight. Can you give me a second? Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, this is Yasmin Winters. I'm Carla Chambers' lawyer. I want to discuss my client's visitation with her daughter. I'm aware the case is unresolved, but that's not grounds to withhold your visitation. There are records of the abuse at the hospital. There are records of the abuse at the hospital. Okay, thanks, bye. I've got him. I'm assuming you're talking about Timothy. Yes. Vancouver Island. Their family has a cabin there and it's in Canada. And we wouldn't have gotten the records from the time they visited the hospital because it's another country. I need to make one more phone call. <laughs> do your thing. Yeah, it's me. Okay, I need you to do something for me. I need you to check all the hospitals on Vancouver Island for their medical records and see if anything matches Timothy's wife. Yeah. I know it's another country. Just talk to Joan. I have a hunch here. I need you to do everything you can. Okay, thanks. What kind of pie they got today? Cherry. Great. <laughs> I'll go get some pie. Thank you. <sighs> Your hunch was correct. Mom took his wife for treatment eight times in the last six months. Everything from a cracked rib to a collapsed eye socket. I've sent over copies. Yes, I'm the only other one who has a copy. This is between you and I until we have to disclose. I spoke to Judge Roberts. She let me expedite the motion for retrial this afternoon. Oh, great. What about Child Protective Services? Well... With a retrial filed, he's no longer eligible for custody. Thank God. This is the smoking gun we needed. Girl, good job. Brown? Are you there? Dang reception. And send. That should help Carla's case. Hey. You're quiet. What is it, your vegan diet or you just missed your friends? I'm fine. I'm done with. Hold on a second. Wait here. Who is it? It's a reporter. Can you just stay in here? I don't want you being involved. I'm on vacation. If you stonewall me, I'll only have his side. And what side is that? 
Mr. Locke is a loving father who wants to see his children. Who's also been charged with murder. What murder? You have no proof, at least none that we've seen. Many believe that you're on a personal vendetta to keep him from his family because of what happened to you when you were a kid. And what happened to me when I was a kid? Um, off the record, I've seen all your files. Your father abused your mother. Maybe you were abused as a child as well. Your sister will certainly... How dare you? Get out of here. Did you get the slap? It's our lead story. Mom, those Krav Maga classes really paid off. We're going home. What? No, I'm helping Laura tomorrow with one of her classes. What class? I'm proofreading some cover letters and resumes. Oh, then we're leaving Sunday. Mom, I really like it here. Paige, I don't. Okay, well, you always want things your way. No, that's not it. I'm... I'm the parent. You're the kid. Well, sometimes I wonder if that's true. In what some are calling a personal vendetta by District Attorney Yasmeen Winters, further charges have been filed against Timothy Locke. Earlier today, I had an encounter with Ms. Winters where she proceeded to slap me. We go to that footage now. I'm clear. 30 seconds. Carl. What? What? Uh, yeah, hold on. I gotta go. <clears throat> uh, we're back. It has just been brought to my attention that District Attorney Joan Brown has been murdered. So far, we've heard that it's been a car fire, but that's all the information we have at this moment. Please stay with us, and we'll keep you up to date on that developing story. This is Carl Weathers, KPVQ News. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. The guy you took to court, did he do this? I think so. He really deserves to be locked up, doesn't he? For a really long time. I'll get that. Wait right here. Okay? No. My boss is dead. Are you kidding me? Hi, Peter. Hey, Paige. Um, what did you bring? Um, why don't you check it out? Come in. It is so good. Well, there's plenty more. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. Any idea who might have done this? Mom? She was the DA for 15 years, so, um, she made a lot of enemies. animal growing up. Oh, I brought it everywhere. <laughs> well, who got it for you? I don't know. I don't 
remember. Maid was one problem, but now the DA? Yeah, well, she had the hospital files from Canada, right? You told me that was taken care of. And it is! It is done! Listen here, you little punk. Don't you talk to me that way. Or I'll walk away, and the next time you see me, you'll be in the execution chamber. Are there any more copies of that file? Yeah. Where? DA Yasmin Winters. Damn it. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll send it. No, no. I'm gonna take care of it. I've got it, all right? I can't cover for you. Father, figure it out, all right? Because you're just as deep in this as I am. <laughs> That's good, son. Now you're learning. Just get the medical report. Leave no witnesses. Uh I'll be with you the whole time. Okay. I'm such a bad mom, I don't even like have anything for her. Wait. Paige left this in the car. It used to be mine. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's yours if you want it. What? No, this is uh this is great. She loves ponies, so. Good. So let's go get your daughter. Okay. Mommy, and she has a new tooth. <laughs> They're gonna release Natalie to Carla later this afternoon. How did you do that? The judge ordered it. You know, until the trial's over, she's not a danger to her kid. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> it was Yasmin. She did it. You did it too. Hey, Mom, um, can we stay one more week? Why do you want to stay all of a sudden? Well, I like it here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? I think that you and Aunt Laura are conspiring to keep me here. Well, we think you and Peter might just really like okay. each other. Peter, no. Listen, say your buys. We're going to go home and pack, okay? Oh, hey, mm -hmm. this came for you today. What is it? It's a... It's a really uh, important present from Joan. Um, um, can I go home with Aunt Laura? Of course. Yes, I have to go. Congratulations. I'll see you later. Bye. She's the best. <laughs> She's I awesome. can't believe it. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. me. It was him in the 
car. Where was he? He was outside. He was parked behind me. It's like he's stalking me. He wants to talk. I can't believe this. I can't believe that you lied to me. Just hear him out. You need to find me. No. It's no. Okay. The only thing I need is to get the hell away from him and from you, Paige. Yes, but... <laughs> Paige, come on, get your stuff. We're going. We're going right now. He's a different person, yes. We're going now. Get your stuff. I'll bring her home when she's done. I don't want her out there with him out there, and I don't want her with you. Mom, I'm, I'm fine. I'm helping Carla. Fine. We just, we have to go now. I'll bring her home when she's done. Look, I got Carla her kid back. Our debt is paid. You bring Paige home. We're leaving tonight. From me. I have a restraining order. One call to the cops and you're in jail again. Yes. Please let me make up for the things that I've done. Look, I know that I wasn't good to your mother or you girls. Look, I had a drinking problem and I know it doesn't make any excuses at all, but I couldn't control it. But I, I'm clean now. Five years. You beat my mother until she couldn't take it anymore. I have to live with that guilt every day of my life. You should. Leave. Now, or I'll call the cops. Leave. Mom! Paige, I don't want you anywhere near him. I've already met my grandfather. How? Aunt Laura. Don't blame your sister. I begged her to let me meet Paige. Stay far away from us! Yes, I would take it back if I could. You can't! Yes, but stop! Mom, just talk to your dad. I don't have a father. I can't believe you. Don't ever come near us again. Ever. You need help! Laura, don't you give me that! You did this! I didn't want any of it! Why can't you just be reasonable? We're leaving now! Or Mom! No! Now! Yasmin, are, are you Peter, okay? I'm so sorry. Not right now. We're going back to the city now. Well, what happened? Jack. Maybe I should go talk to her. No. I've done enough damage for one day. I'll let her cool off, I'll put away my groceries, and then I'll stop by, okay? I'll help. Paige, you go back. Okay, I'll see you later. I thought we had to pack. Now we're all one happy family. Paige, do exactly as he says. And I say sit down. Everything okay? Yeah, I think so. Did you know that I'm the father of two young girls who may never see their daddy again because of your mother? You deserve it. Paige, don't talk to him. Yes, Paige, don't talk to him. What do you want? The medical reports. I don't know what you're talking about. Lie to me again. Next time, it's not going to be too pleasant. Yeah? You are only making this worse for yourself. Everyone's so naive. Like, I don't have a plan? I got a plan. Step one, find the medical reports. Step two, I want you to feel how much it hurts to know you're never going to see your child again. If you so much as lay a- Why? You what? Damn it! Last time, where are the medical reports? Go to hell! Uh, uh, the computer uh, bag! Good girl. Yes, ma'am. Let me explain something to you. I'm going to hurt your daughter very badly. You don't tell me where that bag is. In the car.
then he just... I should have... I should have warned her, but I... Okay. Oh, no, 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 no! Paige, you're gonna calmly go outside and get your aunt. No, no, I'll go. Oh. You! Shut up! Okay. Go on, Paige. It's okay. It's holding so much resentment and anger and... Aunt, Aunt Laura? Yes? Can you come inside? Mom wants to talk to you. Okay, sweetie. Sure. Come on. I'll go with you. Hey, get back inside. Move it, move it. Let's go. You sure? Yeah, of course. Okay, well, has she mentioned anything else? <laughs> mm -hmm, I really appreciate you doing this. Oh, and anything I can do to help? What's going on? Uh, who are Hello, you? Auntie. What are you doing in my Shut house? Shut your trap. <laughs> Step two, give me the keys. Fine. Give me the keys. Fine. You, you're going to go to your mother's car and get me that bag. Oh. Don't touch her. Is he okay? Hey. It's over. Will you kill me now and then what? Well, at least I get to go to jail with a smile. Paige, come here. <laughs> That's my daughter.
Stay still. Stay still. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. I'm right here, Dad. I'm right here. I'm not to be special, but... Grandpa, hang on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. with a tent. <gasps> oh, yeah, so it was really cool. I think it was the latest that I ever stayed up. <laughs> <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> you know, um... I never remember that it was... that it was dead. They gave me that stuff, Tony. There's a lot of things I couldn't remember either. I baked you some cookies. They're chocolate chip. That's your favorite, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thanks. So amazing to have her back in my arms again. I never want to let her go. That's a nice horsey. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so, how long do you think you guys are going to stay? Uh, yeah. What do you think, Mom? 